what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel i chopped off all my hair it was so dead from the bleaching and the perm and it was just time for something new today i'm doing a video on this look right here for valentine's day it is just a simple fierce cat eye with a bold red lip so if you like to do this look keep watching now i'm gonna try to be sexy paradise every night when we turn off all the lights Evergreen chemistry It feels like it's all a dream We both have secrets but you got So first I'm going to go in with the Tatcha Water Gel for oily skin. This is really good just to moisturize your face and get everything primed and ready to go. Next, we're going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Primer. I really love this primer because it becomes tacky, which is what is going to hold your makeup to your face. So I'm not going to rub this completely in. I'm just going to rub it until it starts to get that tackiness. Next, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation in Ivory. This is my go-to foundation. It just blends so beautifully, and I'm going to blend this in on a Morphe M439 brush. This is their buffer brush. Again, it just takes your foundation to the next level. After that, we're going to grab the Too Faced Shape Tape, and this is in the color uh, Light Fair, I believe. So, just going to make little triangles on the bottom of my eyes, down the center of my nose, forehead, and around my mouth to hide all the hormone patches that will appear throughout the day, because I'm a girl, let's face it. Next, we're going to pick up the Anastasia Dip Brow in Taupe, and I'm just going to take this on an angled brush. This is just like a little Revlon brush that I got from Walmart. has a little angled point at the end. Really good for defining your brows and getting it to the shape that you want instead of having to erase, do stuff, and start over. So I'm just going to shape that. Next, I'm just taking a little spoolie and just spreading that out. This is the Airspun Translucent Powder. I'm going to set my under eye with this. Whenever you're setting your powder, try not to make any type of facial expressions because it will crease and it will dry like that. Next, we're going in with the Silk Cream from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette. I'm going to pick this up on a Morphe M533 brush. I'm going to blend that into my crease, take it a little bit above my crease, right below my brow bone. So next we're going to pick up the Pooter and Pukey <laughs> brown color in her palette. Mix these together on a Sigma Tapered Blender E40. We're just going to pack that into the crease just to give the crease a little bit more definition and make it look like my eye is deeper than it actually is. I'm going to go back in with that Silk Cream on that same brush and just blend out those harsh edges and make sure everything is pretty. Then we're going to pick up Beam on a flat definer brush. I'm going to put this in the middle of my lid to kind of create a, um, like a cat eye, I guess, effect just to, just in the center, and I'm going to keep it in the center. I'm going to go in with the Morphe M433, and we are just going to blend out those corners. This is the NYX Super Fine Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner because I do not like thick points. So we're going to start from the corner, go up just a little bit, and then from that we're going to go straight across to where our eye opens. You can see whenever I open my eye, it is right there. Then we're going to go to the inner corner and we are going to connect this to that outer corner. This is going to create the cat eye that you're going after. And it's kind of a little trick if you're not quite comfortable with cat eyes just yet. And then we're going to fill that in. After I shot this part, I decided to take my cat eye a little bit more dramatic than just the little itty bitty baby cat eye because I wanted it to be seen. I wanted to you to see it through my lashes and I wanted you to know I was coming. Next, we're going to take the NYX Glitter Liner in gold and we're just going to outline that cat eye. So we're going to start on the bottom, go up, and then I'm going to start from the middle and go out. And then I'm going to go to this um, corner and connect to the middle. This liner has um, really good pigment, 
but the little itty bitty brush doesn't pick up enough a lot. Next, we're going to go in with the Ardell Glamour Lashes. First, I'm going to measure my eye. So I put it on there, see where it needs to be cut. I cut off two little whiffs at the bottom. Always start from the outer corner, never cut from the inner corner. Next, we're going to go in with the L'Oreal Volume Lash Paradise. Just put a coat of mascara on there. Then we're going to pop on those lashes. I always put the glue on the back of my hand and then pop the lashes on, blow on it a little bit just to get the glue tacky so they'll stay on there the first time. Now we're going to pick up the Pooter shade in a little smudge brush and I'm just going to smudge that on my lower lash line just to kind of give the effect of a smoky eye but a subtle smoky eye because we don't want to be over dramatic. This is just a pretty simple look. Next, we're going to take the Kat Von D shade light contour palette and we're going to go in with the shade Shadow Play. Going to take this on a Morphe 527, uh, com, what is this? I don't know what this is, brush. <laughs> we're going to put that all over my cheekbones, forehead. Then I'm just going to take another little definer brush and put it in the corner of my nose. Take my beauty blender and blend that out. Going back in with that air spun powder, I'm going to go on a Real Technique beauty blender that has a flat side. I'm going to dip it in that powder and I'm going to cake my face right where my ear connects with my cheek. So this is called baking. And what this is going to do is going to help lighten the part of your face that you want lightened and really bring out that contour. Next, we're going to go with the Fenty Beauty Highlighter in the color Hustla Baby, and we're going to pick that up on the Beauty Blender flat side. And what this does is the Beauty Blender is already damp. I'm not going to make it any more wetter, and I'm just going to press that into my skin. This is going to give the appearance that you're glowing from within rather than that harsh brush stroke of highlighter. I'm going to put that on the tip of my nose and my Cupid's bow, and it just, ugh, it just does something to your skin, you guys. It's so beautiful. Next, we're going to go in the shade In Light from the palette. Another little definer brush. This is a unicorn brush off Amazon that my husband got me. Put that in the corner of my eye. Blend that out really well. And then we're going to go on the brow bone just to let that pop a little bit more. Because, again, I'm trying to go for a feminine, glowy look, so I want my face to be highlighted. This is the Fenty Beauty Paint Lip Pot. I've never used this before, and I'm super excited. So, I'm going to cover my lips with the residual makeup that is on my Beauty Blender. And we are going to put this on. Y'all, it went on so smooth, so pretty. It, ugh. Do you see the freaking color payoff? It is amazing. Now, instead of rubbing my lips together, I am just going to press them together, just like a little pucker. Nothing. I'm not going to rub. I'm just going to touch them together, and that's it. Then I'm going to fill in the rest of my cupid's bow and the inner corners. Next, I'm going to take the residual highlight that is left on the Beauty Blender. I'm not going to put more, and then I'm just going to press that onto my lips just to give it a little bit of a glow. And lastly, I'm just going to brush off that translucent powder after it has been sitting for a few minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I enjoyed creating it so much for you guys. If you're not already, subscribe to my channel. Become a member of the family to stay up to date on when I post videos. I hope you guys have a happy Valentine's Day, and I will see you guys soon. Cole! What? Come here. I'm at 12%. Hurry up. First impression. Because you've never seen me with red lips before. Ooh. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> I do like red on me. Looks good. Well, I mean, especially this light. This is a good red. You have to start buying more of that. <laughs> so is it husband approved? Yeah, it's husband approved. Okay. <laughs>